Hey everyone, while scrolling through the news today, I ran across an incredibly biased and misleading article which was titled, Sorry Elon, the electric semi of the future is already here. Freightliner is cruising past Tesla on the electric truck superhighway. And with a title like that, you might be expecting something impressive like I was, and well, you'd be wrong. We're going to talk about just how biased and anti-Tesla this article is, but before we do, if you appreciate my work where I try to cut through the BS that is spouted on the daily by the media about Tesla, then a great way to help out the channel and get yourself some free stock is through Webull. Webull, the stock trading app, is currently offering two free stocks for opening an account and making a $100 deposit if you're in the US. If you're interested, click the link in the description for more information. All right, so let's check out this article. And look, I'm just gonna ruin it right off the bat and not waste your time. The title may say that the electric semi-truck of the future is already here, but it later on admits that in fact, it's not going to begin production until next year, which is 2022. So there you go. We could wrap this one up right here. They say it's already here, but empirically and categorically, it is not already here and it won't be starting production for another year. That's unless you want to say that having a fully functioning prototype counts as being here, but I don't think anyone is actually going to make that claim because obviously Tesla also has fully functioning prototypes of their semis. But I'm not going to let them get off that easy. If you lie in your headline, you've now earned yourself some scrutiny. So let's see what else we have going on here. And would you look at that? The author's name is Jordan Golson. Really? Jordan Golson? Or should I say famous Tesla bear Gordon Johnson? You're not fooling anyone, Gordon. But for real, Jordan Golson is saying that the future is already here with the Freightliner, but they won't begin production of their electric trucks until 2022. And if we look at Tesla, they're claiming that they're going to be producing their semi by the end of Q4 2021, which has them beating Freightliner to market. Now, I should be totally clear here, when Tesla announced the semi back in 2017, they said it was going to be shipping to customers in 2019, which clearly hasn't happened. I'm all for Tesla being bold and aggressive with their time schedules, but this is one area where I really wish they'd do better. Tesla is notorious for missing their product launch deadlines, from the Roadster, which was supposed to be shipping in 2020, to the Semi, which was supposed to be shipping in 2019. Tesla has given their fans false hopes that their products will ship sooner than they actually will. I don't think it's that big of a deal that they're delayed, but I really would rather Tesla set their product release timelines less aggressively and then if they can beat them, awesome. Nobody's going to be mad if they ship it sooner than expected, but that way at least people aren't getting their hopes up that a new product is going to launch and then their hopes get smashed. In my head, because it keeps happening, I just assume Tesla is going to miss their deadlines and then if they hit it, I'm excited, but if they're not, well, at least I'm not disappointed. I know I'm going to get a bunch of flack in the comment section for that, but I'm just calling it like I see it. Tesla product releases are generally not on time. And I also know I'm going to get a bunch of people saying that other companies do that exact same thing, and they totally do. I'm not saying it's okay for any company to do it, so when companies miss their deadlines, we should tell them, hey man, that's not cool. How about you don't do that? Anyways, the reason this article is making the claim that the future is already here is because Freightliner works with other companies such as NFI, which is a logistics provider, and they let them test the prototype trucks. They call them customer partners, which I'm not sure is a fair name. The partner thing, sure, but I couldn't find anything about NFI buying the trucks, so customer might not be a reality with regards to these particular prototypes. We even have the senior vice president of fleet services for NFI calling them demonstration units and says that we partner with Daimler to identify issues and problems so they can make adjustments or changes to put out the best available vehicle when they go into production. Oh, and Daimler is being mentioned here because they own Freightliner. Call me overly critical, but that doesn't sound like a customer to me. I would say this is clearly still in the product development phase as they won't be available for production until 2022. Also, I looked up the Department of Transportation number that's on the side of the semi in the product video, which is registered in the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. And this is me going way out of my depth. I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but I think it's showing that there are 56 of these electric semis out on the roads being tested. Again, I could be totally wrong about that. Please don't quote me on it. I don't know what I'm doing or how to read this stuff. If you do know how to read it, please tell me what it actually means. 
All right, moving on, let's see just how futuristic this future semi really is. Well, they've got two trucks, one that's smaller, AKA a class six or seven truck, which is basically your local delivery truck. And then there's one that's a class eight semi, and we can compare that one directly against the Tesla semi because they're in the same category. So let's see what we're working with here. They're saying the Freightliner will have up to 250 miles of range, from there up to 475 kilowatt hour battery pack. If we compare that against the Tesla Semi, well, Tesla doesn't tell us the battery pack size, but they say they're going to get a range of up to 500 miles, which is double the Freightliners. We can do some quick napkin math here to calculate the Tesla Semi battery size. They claim an efficiency of less than two kilowatt hours per mile. So if they wanted to go 500 miles, then if they were consuming two kilowatt hours per mile, the battery pack would need to be around 1,000 kilowatt hours. So we know it's going to be less than 1,000 kilowatt hours, but it's probably going to be somewhere around that range. Again, this is really rough math. We do have Elon Musk saying on a Joe Rogan podcast that, quote, you want something in the order of probably a 500 kilowatt hour pack. What we have in the Model S and X is a 100 kilowatt hour pack and probably something like a 500 kilowatt hour pack in the Tesla Semi. But he could be talking about the 300 mile range version, so it really doesn't tell us that much by itself. Now, I will give credit where credit is due. Freightliner is claiming to have 700,000 miles driven on these electric semis total, which is really impressive and goes a long way into validating their electric platform. I couldn't find reliable data on how many miles have been driven on Tesla's semi platform, so who knows if it's more or less test miles than Freightliner has. We've seen a ton of photos and videos of the Tesla semi in action driving on roads, but again, that doesn't tell us much other than that Tesla is in fact testing them, which we already knew. The closing line in the article is what really pushes my buttons. It says, though Tesla continues to develop the Tesla Semi, it appears that none are in the hands of customers at this point. So for now, chalk this one up as a win for the old school Freightliner. And when I hear that, I think, just because you give a company a prototype to test doesn't mean they're all of a sudden a customer for that product. They're doing product validation. Even the company you gave these prototypes to calls them demonstration units, which really makes me think they're working together on the whole project, but it's not a traditional buyer and seller relationship where the customer buys a finished product. If I had my way, and I never do, but if I did, I would say something like, Freightliner is doing product validation, has driven over 700 thousand miles with their prototypes and is planning on entering production in early 2022. But I know why the author didn't write it like that, because that makes it sound like these trucks aren't going to be available until the future. And then it doesn't fit the whole Freightliner beat Tesla to the punch narrative. The point of this video isn't to critique Freightliner. I think they're doing awesome stuff and I love to see more companies electrify their fleet, especially when it comes to commercial trucking. The point of this video is to address the hypocrisy and clickbait of the article that's been written about Freightliner liner by inverse saying that the future is already here because these trucks are being tested on actual roads but aren't in production is disingenuous and if you wanted the truth you would have to say both Tesla and Freightliner are testing their semis but neither have entered production but that Tesla is currently planning to enter production sooner than Freightliner and if you wanted to put in the caveat that Tesla has continued to push back their timeline for production that'd be fair and accurate no problems there Anyways, all this to say, I wish the best of Freightliner. I really am hopeful that their product is going to be successful and they're going to have a positive impact on transitioning the world away from fossil fuels. And that's something we all should be rooting for. That's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you think about the clickbait headline in the comment section below. And also, let me know if you were even aware that Freightliner was this far along. I'm not gonna lie. I'd seen some stuff about their electric semis, but I didn't know they had 700,000 miles driven. That is really impressive. If you like this video, give it a like. If you really like this video, maybe think about subscribing or joining my Patreon so I can make more of these videos in the future. All right, see you all in the next one.